As you continue to work with iTunes, you're almost guaranteed at some point to import a song that you already have in your library. And in some cases, iTunes will dutifully copy that song into your library again, and you'll end up with a duplicate of that song. Now, iTunes 9 is pretty good at detecting an exact copy of a file, so if you try to drag a copy of an existing song into your library, iTunes won't copy it. But there's still always the likelihood that your library contains duplicates of several files, and you'll end up with a duplicate of that song. Now, iTunes 9 is pretty good at detecting an exact copy of a file, so if you try to drag a copy of an existing song into your library, iTunes won't copy it, but there's still always the likelihood that your library contains duplicates of several files. To find your duplicates, choose File, Show Duplicates iTunes will display any songs that have the exact same name and exact same artist. So now I'm looking at all the duplicate songs iTunes has found because I have my music library selected. If you're trying to find duplicate videos, make sure you select movies or TV shows or whichever kind of media you're trying to find duplicates of. If you want to leave this view of the duplicates, you can click Show All, down here where it says Displaying Duplicates, to go back to your library. But I do want to work with duplicates right now, so let's go back to File, Show Duplicates. And at this point, I need to decide whether I want to keep these duplicates or not, because there may be some reason to keep multiple copies of songs in your library. For instance, this track from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, called Don't Come Around Here No More, I have two copies of that. But notice that one copy is off his Greatest Hits album, and the other is off the album it originally appeared on, Southern Accents. And I want to make sure that that song stays in place on both albums, because I might be listening to one or the other album sometime, and I don't want that track missing from either of them. I also have a track from the Jelly Bricks, Broken Record, and from everything I can see here, these tracks appear to be completely identical. They have the same artist, album, time, name. But if I right-click on the first one and choose Get Info, and go to Summary, I can see that this first one is an AAC audio file, and if I click Next to select the next one, this one is an MPEG-3 file. And if you recall, I created this MP3 version earlier in this chapter. So sometimes you might have to look at each track's info to discern the difference between them. It could be that they're different file types, or that one is encoded at a higher quality than the other. Once you figure out the differences, then you can decide whether or not you want to keep the duplicates around. In this case, I might want to keep both versions if I need to send, say, the MP3 version to someone, but I want to listen mostly to the AAC version. i just cancel out of here. Now in the case of this Ryan Adams song, Come Pick Me Up, these tracks really are identical in every way except one version has album artwork, and the other doesn't. Personally, I think this is a legitimate reason to get rid of a duplicate, since I don't think there's a reason to keep the version without the artwork, so I'm just going to select that track and press delete on my keyboard. iTunes is first going to ask me if I'm sure I want to remove this song from the library. You won't see this dialog box if you've previously checked Do Not Ask Me Again. Notice it tells me that these items will also be removed from any iPod or iPhone which syncs with your iTunes library. I'm going to click Remove. Next, iTunes asks me if I want to move the file to the trash. On Windows, you'll be asked if you want to move the file to the recycle bin. When you remove a file from your library, you're only really removing the reference to that file. The file itself will still sit in your iTunes library folder, you just won't see it listed in iTunes anymore. So I have the choice to keep the file where it is, maybe it's a file I want to keep a copy of but don't want to see in my library, or I can click Move to Trash to move that file into my system trash. Right now, I really don't need this sitting in there taking up extra space, so I'll click Move to Trash. So if I go look in my System Trash folder, I can see it's sitting in there. Now just a tip here, if you're on a Mac and you know that you want to both remove a file from the library and move it to the trash without having to go through two dialog boxes like we just did, you can select the track and hold down the Command key while pressing Delete on your keyboard. That automatically both removes the song from your library and moves it to the trash in one shot. On Windows, you can hold down the Control key as you press Delete, so you won't go through two dialog boxes, but that will not move the song to the recycle bin, unfortunately. So that's how you can locate and remove duplicate songs in your library.